Is that in focus, Ronnie? Oh, hi guys. How's it? Hi. Happy New Year. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> A bit awkward. <laughs> Meet Ronnie. Uh, he's my focus puller. He's just one of a large crew of uh, people who are helping me put this video together. Big crew. Huge. Okay, um, I'm just going to go get changed. Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Fortified. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sue and today I'm taking you through a whole lot of my January empties. Now technically these are empties that were used up in December of the year which shall remain nameless but I thought that I would put together today's video just in case you wanted to see what I've used up and also so that I can get rid of the old, bring in the new. So I've got mostly skincare, a tiny bit of makeup at the end and a little bit of body care. So starting off with some body wash, I've been using the Sorbet body wash and really love these. I love the flavors, beautiful fragrances, and they're really great for the shower or the bath. Another body wash that I've used up is by Radox and this one is the energized one. And I do like these because they've got a handy little hook and you can hang them on the tap in your shower. So would repurchase, would recommend. A cleanser that I've used up is my Lamel Active Cleanse and I use this in the mornings. It contains salicylic acid so it's really good for congested pores. Really love this, it's got tea tree oil in, it's got a beautiful fresh scent, would recommend and would repurchase. I've also used up a Dr. Soul foot and shoe spray, can't go without this, absolutely love it. Some micellar waters that I've used up. My empties would not be complete without my Garnier micellar water. I use this just to take off my eye makeup. And I've also used up a Bioderma micellar water. I have done a video comparing these two, which I will link up above. And I really love them both. Would highly recommend. Another cleanser that I've used up is my Trizera Nutrition Cleansing Gel for Face and Body. I've also done a video on this. I use this on my face, sometimes on my body as well. I love this, it's really gentle, it's great as a second cleanse to remove makeup. Would highly recommend that one. And then a couple of moisturizers I've used up, and these are for specifically for oily skin. The one is from La Roche Posay, it's the Effaclar Matte Anti Brilliance Anti Shine Pore Control Moisturizer. I really do like this one. It's great for summer months when my skin does get particularly oily. It's really great. It also serves as a very good foundation base. So I like that one. Another one that I've used up is the Bioderma Sebium Matte. These two are very similar, very similar to the La Roche Posay. I do enjoy this one as well and would recommend it if you are particularly oily and you're looking for something just to absorb a little bit of the shine throughout the day. I've also used up my Super Hydra Gel. I use this with my New Face Trinity. Love this stuff. It's affordable and would recommend it if you are using a microcurrent device. Really, really like that. Another cleanser which I've used, which um, was part of a kit that I got in uh, when I purchased the Lumi Spa. This is the cleanser that comes with it. This is the one for oily skin. I really enjoyed this. I wouldn't repurchase. The Lumi Spa works perfectly well with any cleanser, but did enjoy this and would recommend it if you are looking for something to use with a Lumi Spa, but as I say, you can actually use any cleanser with it. A couple of Clarins samples that I've used up. I do love Clarins products and if budget winner object, object, I would probably use them a lot more. This is uh, from the range, the Bright Plus range, and this is the Day Lotion, it's an SPF 20, and I really love this, would highly recommend it. I love the way it feels on my skin. I do have combination skin, and this works really, really well. And then another serum, also from the Bright Plus range, this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a vitamin C serum. But really enjoyed this as well. They have got a new serum out. Well, it's fairly new to market. It's probably been out a year or so. It's the one in the white tub. And I'm quite interested in trying that. Let me know if you've tried it and what your thoughts are. But it looks really good. 
Another cleanser that I've used up, this is a sample. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Foam. I really did enjoy this as a second cleanse and the travel sample also makes it great to travel with. So I would recommend this if you're looking for a beautiful, luxurious cleanser. Really enjoyed that one. I have also used up a Purity Head to Toe Wash and I use this to wash my makeup brushes and I always buy a baby shampoo and I get the biggest and the most affordable that I can and this one was really great, got the job done. I've also used up another Mitchum deodorant, love this, swear by it, keeps me fresh all day. And I've also used up a NYX Huile Prodigieuse. And this is the multi-purpose dry oil for face, body and hair. I do have a little bit left in here. I decided quite a while ago that I didn't like it on my skin. I'm not a great fan of oils just because they tend to sit on the skin. And even with a dry oil, it just didn't really agree with me. But it is a beautiful and very luxurious oil. And you can also use it in your hair as well. It's got... Mm, such a gorgeous fragrance. They do have a perfume that's come out with this fragrance. But as I say, this is not for me, not for the body. I'm going to be using what's left in the bath. But it is a very luxurious product. And if you do like oils, I would highly recommend that one. I've also used up a SkinCeuticals Antioxidant Complexion Firmer. This is the 10% Allascorbic Acid. And it does have ferulic acid in it as well. Really loved this. I would repurchase. I do have a small travel sample of this at the moment. But really loving the SkinCeutical brand. Loving their range of products. And would highly recommend. I have also used up my Neutrogena Cellular Boost Night Cream. Really love this stuff. Have done a review on it. And would highly recommend it. If you're looking for an all a multi-purpose drugstore moisturizer really really love that range and then i've used up a revlon new photo ready candid setting powder and i have repurchased this i really enjoy this it's really affordable and it actually does minimize the look of my pores and it does keep me shine free so would highly recommend that one and then finally, I've used up a Neostrata Tri-Therapy Lifting Serum. And this is a lifting serum for the neck. Now, I really love the Neostrata brand. I've used a lot of their products. Did this firm my neck? Mm, I don't think I've used it long enough to actually see a difference. And I'm a little bit wary of neck firming creams. I don't think there's a lot that can be applied topically that can firm your neck in the long term but i love this brand anyway i love the science behind this not sure if i would repurchase this product but i did enjoy using it so guys those are my empties for the month of january let me know what you've used up let me know if you've used any of these products and what your thoughts are i'd love to hear from you if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please follow me on instagram don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time ciao ciao